edition of the Africa Eco Race, the last big one of the 2014 edition, before the chronometer is frozen and the drivers reach Lake Rose in Dakar. After two tiring weeks, the teams tackle a selective stage of 202 kilometers before crossing the border between Mauritania and Senegal. Guillaume Jordan and Xavier Lormand win the bronze medal of the stage. Last year, they finished the Africa race in fifth position and were hoping to be on the podium in 2014. But their car wasn't up for the challenge yet. We had several technical problems. The car is wonderful when it works. So we used the opportunity to make some adjustments and try to reach the end and finish the race with a stable car. When it works, it has the potential to be on the front line like today. After four stage victories, Jean-Antoine Sabatier and Denis Rosan finished the stage in second position on their buggy. It's an excellent performance for the Morocco residents. Always at the top level, Jean-Michel Lesser dominates the stage just like he did in the rest of the competition. He snatches his fourth stage victory and will get tomorrow his sixth Africa race triumph. For his co-driver Thierry Magnaldi, this African experience on Schleser's side has been a real delight. Everything went really well on the race. I hadn't navigated for a while. Being back in Africa, in those immense spaces and the dunes, feeling really small in the vastness, that's magical and it just cannot happen in any other race. Miklos Kovac and his yellow Scania are number one in the trucks category today. For the Hungarian drivers, this 2014 edition has been 100% positive. The level this year was a lot higher than in previous editions. Tomás Tomicek is faster, Elizabeth Jacinto is faster, Noel Esos is faster too. I made progress as a driver and I also improved the truck. And as a team, we also made some progress and now we know how to manage the dunes. In the day's classification, Schleser finishes the stage 5 minutes 11 ahead of Sabatier and Lormont is 2 minutes 40 behind Sabatier. The overall ranking is now sealed before the big final on Lake Rose tomorrow. The Desert Fox Jean-Louis Lesser will be on the highest step of the podium, followed by Lomans and Ora. On two wheels, young Belgian biker Gwen Bax is the third fastest rider of the special stage. He finishes fourth in the overall standing, just behind his brother-in-law, Joris van Dijk. An excellent performance for his first Africa race ever. He was the race's favorite from day one, and Michael Pisano has matched the expectations with a skillful mix of speed and caution. Today he's number two of the stage and he secures the victory for tomorrow in Dakar. Austrian rider Roberto Josbacher, the real revelation of this rally raid, wins his fourth stage victory, but he remains in eighth position in the overall standing because of serious engine problems during the first week. Now he's completely satisfied with his bike. It's unbelievable what the KTM bikes can do, especially in those fast tracks. It's incredible the pressure it's under and what it can do. I'm really happy. In the stage classification, Norbert Dubois comes fourth, 9 minutes 48 behind Toyas Bacher, and Dominique Robin is number five. In the final standing of the Africa race before Dakar, Pisano is the winner, followed by Dominique Robin. Alessandro Barbero comes fifth, and Dubois is in sixth position. Tomorrow, the Africa race is heading to Dakar for the traditional finale on the shores of Lake Rose.